At 11, we have new reaction to the guilty verdict in the Boston Marathon bombings trial. Jurors will soon have to determine. Joe Harser and I have sentenced in the death penalty case. But first, victims and the city are finally finding some closure tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum begins our in-depth coverage from the Boston Marathon finish line. Someone has laid roses down here on the finish line hours after that verdict came in. We spoke with a marathon runner who was feet away when the bombs went off. We met Chris Batu as he was getting ready for his Wednesday night run by the Boston Marathon finish line. He's racing in two weeks. Today I'm just happy and relieved that it gives me, like I said, I'm right now I have so much adrenaline in me that it's going to give me happiness to run. This will be his third marathon. His first was two years ago. He says he was half a football field away when the two bombs exploded. So I saw everything, the flames went up. Then we ran, we saw blood, everything. Almost two years to the day, the bombs killed three people and injured more than 260. Jokar Zarnayev has been convicted. It's just been a pleasure to know that he's convicted for the 30 counts. One bomb was detonated near Marathon Sports. Inside of the store, there are now handmade signs that read Boston Strong. Everybody, I guess, has their own kind of uh, input or what it means to them, but it's great. On the finish line, someone has placed a bouquet of roses. Some stopped to take pictures. That's what Brian Marr did. Being from New Jersey and, and being here during uh, uh, this verdict, uh, you just want to come by and kind of, you know, kind of witness where, you know, where, what took place, what you saw on TV, and, and then uh, you pay your respects. It shows how, in the face of adversity, how, like, a city can get back up. A city, people, it just, we you know, that's how, that's why we fall, so we can learn how to get back up. It will now be the jury's job to decide whether or not Jokar Zernayev gets the death penalty or spends the rest of his life in prison. In Boston, with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Rustin, Eyewitness News.